Muscular system. All right, let's jump right in. So we got four questions here, which will also show up at the end of this video, um, where you can test yourself out on these concepts. Uh, which type of muscle does not have visible striations? What is the thick filament found in sacromeres? What does it do? Um, what is a well-known demyelinating disorder which prevents electrical impulses along the nerve cell from being transferred effectively? Okay, so that's a long question, but we'll go over that. And messages that are communicated between the brain and the muscular system through electrical signals are called what? So we want to know what that is and a little bit about that thing without giving away the answer. Okay. So a little introduction before we jump into the smooth cardiac and skeletal muscle. Um, so the functional characteristics of muscle involved in carrying out various functions are contractibility, elasticity, excitability, and extensibility. Okay, muscles only do work when they contract. They do not actively push things further apart. Muscle cells contract and exert a pulling force. Okay, so that could show up. So that's an important concept. All right, and then um, let's look at these uh, these three aspects here. Uh, smooth muscle is responsible for involuntary muscular contractions and is found in the walls of visceral organs, such as the GI tract. Smooth muscle can be found in blood vessels as well. Uh, you would find smooth muscle cells in both the small and large intestine. However, they do not have visible striations when viewed under a microscope. This is actually the reason why it's called smooth muscle. So I think we had a striation question, didn't we? What type of muscle does not have visible striations? There we go. Smooth muscle. Uh, cardiac muscle, also involuntary, but occurs in the heart, and only cardiac muscle cells pass electrical signals to each other. And then uh, skeletal muscle cells are the voluntary ones. Uh, they are voluntary striated muscle cells that control body movements. Um, and one other quick note here, a cartilage is part of the skeletal system, um, not the muscular system. A lot of times that is an answer choice, which is why I'm throwing it in there. Uh, while it might be confusing at first, skeletal muscle is part of the muscular system as our smooth and cardiac muscle. Okay. So let's go over a bunch of these concepts quite a bit on this slide, right? Um, so muscle fibers are composed of myofibrils and multiple muscle fiber bundles form a fascicle. A muscle fascicle is a bundle of muscle fibers. So those are all important concepts. Uh, myofibrils are long filaments that run parallel to each other to form muscle or myofibers. Myofilaments are filaments of myofibrils constructed from proteins. Skeletal muscle is made up of these fascicles, which are bundles of cells surrounded by connective tissue. Um, there are also sacromeres within each myofibril. Sacromeres are the unit of the muscle cell. A sacromere is the basic unit of striated muscle tissue. Um, there is both a thick and a thin filament found in sacromeres. The thin filament is actin and the thick filament is myosin. Actin serves as the anchor point for myosin, which contracts and pulls actin closer together, shortening the sacromere during muscle contraction. So uh, I believe we have a question about actin. What is the thick filament found in sacromeres? Right, the thick filament is myosin. The thin filament is actin. Okay, so we wanna know those two. And then finally, uh, contraction of a muscle occurs when myosin binds and releases actin. Okay, and then we jump into uh, neural uh, regulation. Uh, and so one of the probably like the most important point is action potentials and understanding what those are. So action potentials are messages that are communicated between the brain and the muscular system through electrical signals. 
And I believe that relates to our last question that we had, right? Is we had an action potential question. Messages communicated between the brain and the muscular system through electrical signals. There we go. That's an action potential. Um, so these action potentials uh, do travel along the axon. That might be important to know. Myelin helps to increase the speed of the electrical impulse along the nerve cell. Multiple sclerosis, which is a demyelinating disorder, prevents these impulses from being transferred effectively. I believe that was also a question. We'll look at that in a second. Uh, a synapse allows a neuron to send a chemical signal to another neuron. A synapse is a space between a terminal branch of a neuron and another neuron. Uh, we don't have this uh, concept here on the slide, but a neurotransmitter such as uh, dopamine is released at the synapse. So that is a connection to the synapse. And then finally, a buildup of lactic acid leads to muscle fatigue. Lactic acid decreases the pH in the muscle fibers. And a lower pH interferes with calcium binding and muscle contraction. Okay. And then we jump back in to our questions. So this is a great time to test yourself out on some of these concepts here with these four questions. So go ahead, hit that pause button and see if you can answer them correctly.